hi guys welcome to my channel um i haven't done this in a long time like i haven't sat down to film anything in a very long time so i just thought why not do it today i've been missing this i don't even know if i can still do makeup um i'm going nowhere obviously i just wanted to film something cute to just get myself in a good mood and to remind myself of how life is really because today it's sunday usually on sundays one will do their makeup um getting ready to go to church or wherever you know so yeah i just hope you will enjoy it i'm gonna try and make this video very short i don't have any look in mind particularly but i just hope that you will enjoy whatever that i'm going to create um so yeah enjoy uh don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed like this video if you really like how the look came out and leave a comment down below and just let me know how you are doing how is this lockdown affecting you are you doing your makeup are you not doing your makeup i literally haven't worn makeup in like two months so yeah um i hope you enjoy this video um yeah just stay tuned I've already done my eyebrows, I just need to clean them up and shape them. I'm taking my LA Girl um, concealer in the shade Warm Honey. And then on top of my eyebrows, I go with whatever foundation that I'm going to be using because I don't want that part to be as bright as my bottom um, lashes. I'm done with that. I'm just going to go straight and do my eyeshadow. I, like I said, I don't know what kind of look I'm going to do, but I will start with just concealing. I don't want anything too complicated because like I said I'm not really going anywhere but I do want a cute a cute um look so whenever I do an eyeshadow and I don't know what kind of look I go for um I usually reach for this previous place palette because I find it to be very you know you can create a lot of looks so I'm gonna grab this pink color here uh, at least that's what I think but first because there's no transition shade here let me just grab this palette that I once got from China Mall and then take this pink here as a transition shade And then I'm gonna take a more dense brush like this and then I'm gonna pick that pink from a previous place into my crease but I'm concentrating it more on the outer corner I like how pigmented these previous place palettes are and then I'm gonna blend it in circular motions oh how pretty is that I actually like this and then here at the bottom I'm not sure which color to go for and I'm not sure whether I should cut my crease or not. I think I'm not gonna cr cut my crease, however, I'm gonna take something a bit matte and clean that up. I saw a similar look being done by Cynthia Guebu. 
So I'm just gonna go back to this palette and take something like this, something a bit neutral, and then pack it on my lid. Hopefully it comes out nicely. I don't know, but I think it's disappearing. It's so itchy. On second thoughts, I'm going to grab the Julius palette again, and I'm gonna grab this peach color and pack it on my lid. Oh, yes. I don't know if you are picking it up, but it looks quite nice. So I'm just gonna pick this. To sort of finish off this look, because I think it's quite bomb, I'm going to take this um, Wet and Wild. It's not focusing. This Wet n Wild um, Liquid Cat Suit, it's a shimmer eyeshadow and then I'm gonna create a line. I've seen this trend all over my Instagram and I've wanted to try it for some time so I'm taking a liner um, brush so I'm just gonna take some of that glitter it's not glitter but it's shimmer eyeshadow and then try to create some sort of a line. Hopefully it works out. The okay, thing is this thing is no longer as dense or as together. So I think I must hold it. I don't wanna mess it up. Okay, no. I think it's gonna create a mess. I'm not gonna use that. I'll just take a thin brush like this and then create that line with it. But it's fine. It worked. It looks nice. So I'm gonna prime my face with my Maybelline Baby Skin. I always use this, guys. I'm even out of it. I'm going to be using this foundation. It's the Yardley London Stay Fast Foundation. Guys, I'm not sure, I don't think this is my shade. Um, I bought this foundation a few days ago and I couldn't test it because we are not allowed to test foundations anymore because of um, COVID. So I just took it because it looked like it was my shade and I've never used this. This medium dark one cool. So I'm just gonna spray my blender. So dewy, so nice. Um, now I'm going to move on to conceal my face. I'm using the same concealer that I used. 
Elena. With the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer, just a bit because it's very bright. And then now I'm going to set my concealer with my Yardley loose powder. So now I'm going to contour my face. I'm going to use my Illegal um, Concealer in Beautiful Bronze. I just set my contour and also bronze. I'm going to use this color here for my Beauty Treats palette and then I'm going to be mixing it with my Maybelline Fit Me powder in caramel. And then I'm going to also apply blush from the Beauty Treats palette. I'm going to finish up my eyes by taking the pink that I used as well as a bit of peach and then applying that all over my lower lid. Um, so I'm almost done. What I'm gonna do is go and apply my eyelashes and then do my lips, highlight, fix my hair and yeah, we should be done. So I'm done with my lashes. I'm just going to apply, I love these lashes. Um, by the way, I got these Sobe lashes. They're called Oliver Flutter Loaded Lashes. So beautiful, so beautiful. And I also used this glue, it's called Lash Edit Lashes. I got it from Clix, so easy to apply lashes using it. Um, so I'm just gonna highlight my face and I'm gonna use this Julius Place, I'm gonna use this gold and mix it with my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter. And then for my lips, I'm gonna use some color I've um, bought. I've been so scared to use this. It's um, Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Philosopher. It's really out of my comfort, um, and I think I should line my lips first for it because it is quite out there. So I'm going to overline oh 
it looks very scary at this moment but I think there's some hope you know I'll try and fix it So guys, this is the finished look. I really like how it came out. I feel like it looks so bomb. Of course, the lip was a shocker. I was not expecting this kind of lip. Like I wasn't expecting this kind of drama, but I really love it. Like I love how it came out. And yeah, just leave a comment down below and let me know if you enjoyed this video. Um, Nala just woke up. That's why you see me being in such a hurry. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time from me to you with love